diversity has changed from one of equal opportunity to one of inclusion. And the idea is to be able to come together as teams of people with vast different backgrounds, um, socioeconomic, ethnicity, gender, and put together teams that can work more effectively in science and train the next generation of physicians and researchers. So diversity essentially means to me that when you're taking into account an idea, that you basically have uh, equal representation of all um, input, um, regardless of um, ethnicity, regardless of uh, religious orientation, um, and regardless of sexual orientation. So it essentially means that you consider all aspects um, without bias. What sets Emory apart is its recognition of the fact that there's more work to do. And so I see, especially now, an intentionality about making sure that Emory always seeks to do better and seeks to be a leader, actually, in promoting diversity. Emory supports diversity and inclusion initiatives at all levels of Emory University, including the university hospitals. There's initiatives such as the university-wide Office of Equity and Inclusion to the student-focused Office of LGBT Life. There, thus, these initiatives impact students, patients, faculty, and staff. Yeah, I think the, you know, it really starts on location. Um, Atlanta is an incredibly diverse city. Um, so just being in the heart of Atlanta, you know, you get exposed to multiple cultures, uh, races, ethnicities, just, you know, it's a very rich city. People in Atlanta come from all over the world. And we are very fortunate at Emory that we can draw from the backgrounds and include people that are not just Georgians, but from all over the country and the world. Um, I think there's going to be a continued push to make sure that the faculty at most higher institutions of learning really reflect society as it should. Um, you know, there's not a monopoly on, on intelligence, um, and we need to make sure that if, we, if we're truly trying to provide people with the best experiences, that you pull intelligent people, wise people from every background, wherever you can find them, to make sure that they're leading the next generation. It's really important to have uh, people from from minorities and underrepresented uh, groups at the table. Um, I think we definitely need to do a better job at increasing the inclusion of, of women and members of the LBGTQ community, uh, people from different races and ethnicities on boards that are making decisions that are shaping policy at the academic level, at the national level, and um, in society. Students can do three things on Embrace, challenge, and participate. They can, one, embrace the opportunities to engage with those that speak, think, and look differently than they do. Two, they can challenge any intolerance or inequity they see with fairness and sensitivity. Three, they can participate in the university's diversity and inclusion initiatives. I'm a product of a system that gave me opportunities when I was coming up in my scientific career, and now I feel like I need to give back by providing leadership and other opportunities, and especially mentorship to other URMs. I think what all of these different types of diversities mean, both the named and the unnamed, are um, this desire and commitment to make sure that people aren't using biases to silence certain types of voices and certain types of perspectives. And so I think that true diversity would uh, seek out excellence wherever it could be found, regardless of the package.